right now we're in week number one so take a look at this graphic 300 players are moving on to next week now keep in mind the 20 games is over the course of two games 10 games today 10 games tomorrow and week two those 300 will face off and the top 80 will qualify for grand finals again across two days 10 games both days this is where things get interesting fortnite fam the reboot round the players who have not qualified will have another opportunity at a shot at grand finals the top 20 from there will qualify and make it through the grand finals over the course of six games and then that's it grand finals time 100 players 12 games and at the end of it all, we will have an FNCS Invitational Champion. Now, talk about the format. Now, Sundown, what we should note here is those four points for every single elimination has made the games pretty interesting. Yeah, it's honestly made it incredibly aggressive, even though there was an interesting data analysis that showed the change between the uh, cash cups didn't impact the actual players left in the server between four and two points. That being said, we've seen players at the top playing not only for placement, but also needing a decent amount of eliminations. You can't just have one or the other. You need a solid combination of both Bala if you want to be successful and make it to the top spot. Yeah, and I think that the elimination uh, change did actually kind of affect maybe placements, but regardless, we're playing with four eliminations. And I think what most people are pushing for is 10th place for the placement points, because that starts to be where you get the most density of those placement points overall for the 33 chunk that you get with the win. case tomorrow let's hop on over to asia see how things are going for them 234 points 29 eliminations and a victory out the name of kogalar here i mean similar point spreads but looking from first all the way down to 10 sundown there's a pretty big jump there I mean, that's about to be expected. Like we said, the players who end up snagging away some of those victory royales and pushing themselves at the top are going to be able to separate. But as you then get into the second page, you can see now we have a number of players who are only separated by three or four elims or like one top five placement is going to make a huge difference here. And I mean, as we talked about, it's just day one. Lots of things can change, but already some names we saw there were was uh, Ruhr who was in the second place. There was another one of those old qualified players for Crazy Raccoons who went to the World Cup. You have Q-Jack in there in 27th as well. Spalo's been on the board a couple of times. We've seen Riona, Monster, and Magu. So not too many familiar faces, but again, anticipate this kind of changing up. right now we'll head on over to asia to get a look at how they things went for them 212 points 26 eliminations and a victory royale to kirin's name up there at the top so i mean we are seeing players break the 200 mark and that seems to be like where people will push above into top 10 uh i mean what do you think monster like do you think that we're gonna see something different out of eu today because there was similar point uh, points yesterday I mean, there's definitely a correlation between the regions and how their playstyles kind of like map out. You would think Asia coming from like the World Cup qualifier days would have this exceptionally high Elim threshold, but it's only true for OCE right now, at least according to these stats, right? You see the OCE region, a lot of players in that 30 Elim threshold, really high up at the top, but things are kind of settling out in the Asian region just based off of the points in general. You can see it's a lot more about placement and of course being your consistent self. I think this makes it to me you know from the outside looking in feel like this region in general is becoming more and more competitive because it's a lot more even across the 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 scoreboard like the point the points are very close shia yeah for me it's kind of like you can see that this region is now just basing themselves and their gameplay off of momentum multiple two win finishes out of these 10 games we saw at least yesterday day before as well and the opens as well how hard it is to win out these games against other players playing the same way 
all the way down to 30th place still people with victory royale so they're kind of cementing the way they're playing uh delta tato right here with a win as well 20 total eliminations 150 points once again this region very similar to oce as to what the point layout is 26 and 27th on oce was 153 on asia 151 each <laughs>